Winston Churchill was a British politician, statesman, and writer who served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945 and again from 1951 to 1955. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest leaders in British history and is remembered for his inspiring speeches and leadership during World War II. Born on November 30, 1874, in Blenheim Palace, Oxfordshire, Churchill was the son of Lord Randolph Churchill and American-born Jenny Jerome. He was educated at Harrow School and the Royal Military College, Sandhurst, where he trained as a cavalry officer. He served in several conflicts, including the Boer War in South Africa and the First World War, before entering politics in 1900 as a Conservative Member of Parliament, MP, for Oldham. Churchill's political career was marked by a series of twists and turns. He switched from the Conservative to the Liberal Party in 1904 and held a number of important cabinet positions, including Home Secretary and First Lord of the Admiralty. However, his reputation suffered after the failure of the Gallipoli campaign in World War I, and he lost his seat in the 1922 general election. Despite this setback, Churchill's political career continued to evolve. He returned to the Conservative Party in the 1920s and served as Chancellor of the Exchequer in the national government from 1924 to 1929. He was critical of the appeasement policy towards Nazi Germany, which led to his being ostracized from the political mainstream in the 1930s. It was not until the outbreak of World War II that Churchill's political fortunes changed. In May 1940, he became Prime Minister at a time when Britain was facing its greatest military challenge. He rallied the nation with his speeches and inspired the British people with his determination to resist the Nazi regime. One of Churchill's most famous speeches was given on June 4, 1940, when he declared, We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. And quote. This speech, along with others he delivered during the war, helped to galvanize the British people and the Allies in their fight against the Axis powers. Churchill was also instrumental in shaping the strategy of the Allies during the war. He worked closely with US President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin to coordinate their efforts in Europe and Asia. He played a key role in planning the D-Day landings and was a staunch advocate for the use of air power in the bombing campaigns against Germany. After the war, Churchill lost the general election of 1945, but he returned to power in 1951. During his second term as Prime Minister, he focused on rebuilding the British economy, maintaining the country's international influence, and strengthening the country's relationships with its allies. In 1953, Churchill was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature for his writings and speeches. He wrote several books, including his six-volume history of World War II and his memoirs, which provided a fascinating insight into his life and the events of the war. Churchill retired from politics in 1955 and was succeeded by Sir Anthony Eden. He remained active in public life and was made an honorary citizen of the United States in 1963, a rare distinction for a foreign national. Churchill died on January 24, 1965, at the age of 90. He was given a state funeral and was remembered as one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century. Winston Churchill was a complex and multifaceted figure who played a crucial role in the history of Britain and the world.